I know you. I remember you from books. What's your name? <laughs> Don't run away. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. Let us gather in secret ritual. Let's not keep the souls waiting too long. And the aura once again lies in ruins. Whose soul are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to banish. Shoo! Maybe my dead father's? If you manage that, it would spare me a lot of trouble. Now we'll never know. I'll stop disrupting the energy here. Until I return. <sighs> Mr. Shulsky, may I have a word? How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the Thaumaturge. Maybe that's precisely the point. To keep violating his wishes? And how might my powers prove useful to you, miss? Well, rather than the truth, a dare sounds good to me. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets, Irina, Maxim, or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. I accept. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I'll wait anxiously for your return. I'll take a look around. May I have a word? You want anything else? I'm going.
Maybe that's enough. What do you want? The trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. Have you come here to torment me? Unmask me? I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? Your Sirin is quite impressive. Flattery will get you nowhere. Madame, you're being impolite. What about a little competition? We'll see who wins. I'll pass. I noticed a wild salutor here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Mm, why? Because I'm warning you. That's not such a ladylike tone, madame. Maybe we should just let the best one catch that salutor. <laughs> you mean yourself. What do you know about this salutor? Do you know its name? Don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the flaw. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? So, should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulski, but you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulski, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. Getting impatient? What have you found out? As far as Sergei. Yes? I'll be honest. He'd do anything for you. Anything, you say? I'm still investigating the problem. Did I see that you've met this madame person? I've taken a long deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Madame has spotted a salutor that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salutor? Remember those fairy tales mother used to read us? Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? I admit I like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. 
That's why I haven't made up my mind. I'm going. Shusky, don't play with me. I'll disappear. For now. Sometimes it's good to let things go and leave other people in peace for your own benefit. That isn't a very subtle threat. Sometimes I'm not very subtle when I want something. I respect that. May I have a word? You want anything else? Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Hmm. Did you know that Papa had an affair with the host of this party? Uh, are you sure? Absolutely. As sure as the Thaumaturge can be. I felt what he felt when, uh, well, you know. Oh, stop! That's disgusting! Quickly, change the subject. You enjoying yourself in this Viper's Den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because I heard a certain conflict took place in the forecourt. Hey, they started it. I was just defending your honor. Uh, again? I'm going.
They are getting impatient. What have you found out? Maxim only has one thing on his mind. Miss Irina. Oh, I knew it! Might Irina return his interest? I haven't been able to establish that yet. Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now, time for truth. Are you seeing anyone? My heart is already taken. I was counting on a different response. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sofia and I must leave for the seance. Madame is waiting. Thank you once more. See you. Therefore, Velis chased Sofia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? It's no coincidence you focused on me. After all, old Skawan hates Thaumaturgis. The little scamp. If I want to discern that little schemer's flaw, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am losing contact with his souls. So now, please focus on them. Yes, please begin. You, sir, have closed our circle. <laughs> Your face. Is everything all right, my child? <sighs> Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? Hmm. <laughs> Leave her alone. Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Is that jealousy I hear? You will mock me no longer! Uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. Would a duel make you happy, miss? Between this poor man and me? Are you all going to fight now? Choose a location! A duel over me would be truly be unexciting! Yes, I think so too. Don't you dare! You were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Spare yourself the trouble. It was a fair fight. But I don't intend to hold you here. Truth be told, I even feel sorry for you. What does that mean? Rid yourself of the pride you've got within. 
Otherwise, it will lead you to the gallows. Enough of this. There's a sanitor waiting for me. Enjoy him, fool.
Just wait until Rasputin sees you. Then you stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. The souls have now told me everything I needed to hear. And you, sir, what can you tell us? Please don't worry. From now on, everything will be fine. Fine? Sir, you must have slept through the last quarter of an hour. Sofia, listen. I freed you from a flaw that... What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. What is this rubbish about a flaw, my dear Mr. Shulsky? You got me riled up, and now you're trying to weasel out? A real skimmer you are. Wait, it was you Mr. Puchowski was talking about. What was he saying? That you're a bore, a troublemaker, and a pest. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>